Oh my god, time for a new vlog. Yes, I know it's fucking late, but I had kind of a little fucked up night. Mainly, it involved me going back to Best Buy two times, and then going to Circuit City one time. But all these places were in opposite directions, and then I got some food uh, takeout from this one Chinese restaurant, which I had to wait 25 minutes to actually get the food because they kind of fucked up on my order. I wanted orange chicken, but they gave me chicken cashew or something. It's like mushrooms or I don't know, or whatever. So yeah. A friend of mine told me, because I needed some uh, hardware for recording video games from like on your TV to your PC so you can play like GameCube and shit like that. A friend of mine said, hey, you need to buy this, this, and that. And I went and I bought this, this, and that. And guess what? It was only for recording uh, camcorders, not actually footage on their TV, so I said, fuck you, return this shit, and got what I needed, which was actually about $150 cheaper than what my friend had me buy. So, oh well, my friend is a dumbass. But otherwise, on to RuneScape shit, let me see. <clears throat> actually, right now is the first time I'm actually logging on RuneScape, like, today. So, you know, like I said, been really busy tonight, kind of tired. Um... A new RuneScape video is my bank video. New video on my second channel. Links are beside my happy little head. Construction, I gained like, I don't know, like 30,000 experience from yesterday. Herblore went down by like, I think like 50k. Um, uh, Alright, farming went down by like 60k, but yesterday I did not update my farming experience on the bung board. So therefore, I didn't gain 60,000 experience in farming in one day. I just didn't update it yesterday. I got a random event, though, last night. Actually, I think I got two. Uh, yeah, pretty sure I got two. But, otherwise, I mean, that's really about it. I uh, was waiting for some oak planks to sell last night, which they didn't because they're bitches. So in the meantime, I was doing some farming runs, doing a little bit of herb lore, doing some other type of stuff, and I got some randoms, plain and simple. As for tonight goes, um, I'll be on RuneScape for a little bit, kind of want to take a shower, just waiting for... Going to wait to this, or going to wait till this video finishes, then upload it, then I'll be in the shower. And then I'll go on RuneScape for an hour, or maybe two. Gain, I don't know, maybe like 200,000 experience in construction or something like that. Like I said, it's just been really busy for the past like, couple weeks with just other type of shit. So really haven't been able to train construction or do other type of stuff like that. But even if you're busy, you can still do farming runs, because farming runs are fairly simple to do. It takes 10 minutes to do, and you make a lot of moolah! Chaotic weapons, or rather, chaotic armor. How would that sound if Jagex released chaotic armor? Now, they do have a whole bunch of shields. I think they have, like, I think three. Uh, don't quote me on this. I'm pretty sure it's either two or three. I don't really know. My brain isn't working so well right now. I know they have a chaotic kite shield, a far circer shield, something like that, and some, and one of the other something. Um, chaotic armor, which means chaotic um, plate body, plate legs, maybe gloves, maybe helm, maybe everything. Basically, basically picture someone in full chaotic. Now, if you've played Dungeoneering before, and if you have Gorgonite armor, a chaotic longsword looks a lot like the Gorgonite longsword. So... If they did come out with, like, a chaotic plate body or something that people could wear in, around RuneScape, it would probably most likely look like the Gorgonite armor, or maybe look a, kind of, a little more fancier. Kind of like the dragon plate body looks kind of a little more fancier than the dragon chain. But, this person, I want my mama. He wants me to talk about what would happen, or what do I think would happen, what would I do if RuneScape released uh, chaotic armor? Which means basically, you know, I mean, uh, a chaotic uh, plate body, chaotic helm, a uh, full helm, uh, gloves, boots, everything. What would I think would happen? First of all, a lot of, like, stuff would probably most likely drop. Um, the chaotic kite shield made the uh, spirit shield, or the two spirit shields drop in price. Ever since those shields were released in the game, the spirit shields dropped in price, like Spectral and Arcane. Um, but Elysian and Divine are still pretty expensive. But as for the other shields, they're pretty much in, like, my third age kite shield is, more mo is worth more money than the spirit shield. That's why I don't really want to change over, because really, I like wearing expensive shit. And that's just really how I am. But... A lot of prices would probably decrease. Um, if they did do something like this, it would have to be better than a fighter torso. 
and it would have to be better than Bandos armor, which means the strength bonus on it would probably most likely be a plus 10, which means that it would change a lot of the maxing videos. There are a lot of people on YouTube who have who has maxing videos and stuff like that. It kind of sucks, and I really do feel bad for people like that, that when new armor or new weapons come out, their maxing videos are shit now because then they have to make a new maxing video because it's no longer the max. You can add more strength bonus. So that's one thing that would happen. Another thing that would happen is that, well, like I said, a lot more people would be getting Dungeoneering to uh, 80 or to whatever level they want to. The majority of people with Dungeoneering or who have been Dungeoneering has a high Dungeoneering level. Like, if somebody is really, if somebody has a chaotic weapon, they most likely have, like, in near 90 Dungeoneering. Mainly because they want more chaotic weapons and shit. Um, like myself, I'm 85. I mainly did it for just total level and stuff. But, uh, one of my friends, he's level 94. And the reason being is because he wanted chaotic weapons. He has a longsword. Uh, he actually lost, he, <laughs> he, he lost a, um, maul. Uh, you know, but, oh well. He, he, uh, he has a longsword, a maul, and I believe he's almost to a uh, kite shield, because that's one of the things he wants to buy. But, I mean, really, a lot of people have a high Dungeoneering level, so if they did release armor, it would motivate a lot of people to get their Dungeoneering level up a lot. Knowing me, I may have to raise it some levels just so I can check out the plate body. But otherwise, like I said, it would just cause prices to drop. It would no longer, Bandos would no longer be like the best armor in the game. Um, but keeping that in mind, it would, the chaotic plate body would have to be something really good. Same thing with the plate legs. Maybe if you're in full chaotic, it gives you a special. Kind of like if you're in a ball sack um, armor. Like for example, if you're wearing ball sack um, Duroc, and if you're in a full uh, ball sack Duroc, then what happens is that you hit really, really high when your HP is really low, right? So if you're in full chaotic, maybe it has a special of you releasing a fireball from your ass and you're flaming someone. You know, hey, it would have to be pretty damn awesome. But as I know, I mean, I really don't think Jagus is going to do that. Um, they're not even done with Dungeoneering. I mean, they still have... They most likely will add new floors to Dungeoneering all the way up to 120. And knowing them, they probably will make the primal plate body be at the level 120 boss. Kind of saying fuck you to all the lower people and stuff like that. May, you know, but I mean, right now the highest floor is 93. They can add a lot more floors to Dungeoneering. They probably most likely are. So, oh well. But keeping that in mind, for them adding new chaotic items, I'm not really sure. I mean, there's a lot of chaotic items, a lot of good items. The one item that, if you hold in your inventory, you never get poisoned. I wish I had that shit when I was using uh, Pyramid Plunder. I could have saved two mil on super anti-poisons, but oh well! Shit happens and life goes on, right? Or, it better, right? But otherwise, guys, like I said before... Uh, shit. Uh, uh, there we go. <laughs> there was a, light, a lighting problem. Uh, damn it, what did I say? Oh, yes, um, like I said before, I'll be on RuneScape right after, you know, this video is finished uploading and stuff like that, and I scrub my, uh, stinky balls. But otherwise, right now, I go my email address and read off some Huba Huba questions. Ask Nightmare at Yahoo.com, do not treat to me, you who's, otherwise you get fucked up and then you get beaten by resin evil monsters. First Huba Huba question. Hey, Nightmare Rage, I was wondering, what skill did you have the most fun end? when you were getting 99. Also, are you still in the Marines? RS username, uh, Fath Force. Uh, what skill did I have the most fun in? Surprisingly, it's actually Pyramid Plunder, because I saw a lot of people die at Pyramid Plunder, even though it was a pain in the ass. It just was kind of fun to see people die randomly. And, uh, yes, I am, but, uh, my contract is almost over with the military, so, you know. Anyways, moving on, my question is, what is your favorite thing to eat at KFC? Question mark, question mark, a lot of question marks. I give, I'd say anywhere from uh, one, uh, damn it, one, two, three, four, five, six, eighteen, okay, 
What is my favorite thing to eat at KFC? I like the popcorn chicken in the rice bowl. It's, you know, and then they put gravy in it. It goes pretty good. And Mountain Dew, of course. You need Mountain Dew always when you go to KFC. Otherwise, you get very cranky. But as always, guys, if you got something for me, leave a nasty dirty little comment. <clears throat> Otherwise, I will see you delicious motherfuckers tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, I hopefully may have 93 construction. Hopefully, damn it. But then uh, tomorrow's the weekend, so shit. Saw 3 comes out. I mean, Saw 4. I mean, 3D. I mean, uh, 7. Saw 7 comes out. Must go and see Saw 7, because it is the final Saw in the movies. Take care, guys.